Hello there, this is Dave Allen for No Stylus, and today I want to have a look at some painting and drawing. In particular, I want to have a look at Pixelmator. Let's see what we can do with it. So in the Pixelmator for iPad Gallery, you've got the Create Image on the top left-hand corner there, which means we can get started with a new image. Or we can go to the plus symbol that's in the top left-hand corner and we get a few more options. So first of all, we've got Create Image, which will get us to the same place as if we clicked on the button in the gallery there. Or we can go for iCloud Drive and get something that you've made already that you've stored elsewhere on your iCloud. We can go to the photo library and bring something in or we can just take a photograph with the camera and get started that way. We'll not use any of those for the moment, let's just keep it simple, let's go for Create Image. Now with this Create Image what we can do now is to choose a template and we've got the choices of the blank a landscape or blank portrait version or we can go for the custom or we can bring something in off the clipboard if you've got a picture on the clipboard already. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go for custom and with this here we can change the size of the image. So at the moment it's 2048 by 1536 and if we want to we can change that. We can keep it the same proportions so we could put 3000 there if we want to and it changes the height already for us. Let's cancel out of that for the moment. Let's go to create image once again. And this time what we're going to do, we're going to use one of the templates. Now, these templates will only show up if you're connected to the internet because they have to be downloaded each time. So, for instance, we might want to choose to go for a collage or one of these frames. Or we've got some cards in there as well. Or we've got at the bottom here some raindrops or bouquet or sunbeams or splash. We've got a few different possibilities. So let's say for example sake that we want to go for the raindrops. We'll tap on that there and it's say it's going to take a while for it to download. To change the default picture that comes in there, the placeholder, we tap on this bottom right hand corner, click on the plus sign there and then we can choose one of our own photographs to put in there or a drawing. So let's go for one of our own photographs and I'll just pick something out of here. We'll go for this one here with the train in it. Now we've got a train with the raindrops on top of it. So that's one way of getting started with this. And as you can see, we've got a couple of layers in this here. That's the layer with the picture in it. This is the layer with some part of the uh, raindrops in there. And then this is another part with the raindrops. So let's just tap on that there. And if you want to, we can hide that. So now we've got the uh, raindrops hidden there. And we can unlock that as well. Let's tap on that there. We can hide that too. And that one didn't do an awful lot, that other one did it. But we can bring those back in again if we want to. Just tap on those bits on the uh, uh, left-hand side in our list of layers. Click on Show. We've got those back again. And we'll click on Show. And we've got that there. Just that second one there makes it a little bit darker, that's all. So that's how we get started. If we want to do an image, we want to use one of those with the raindrops on there. And let's come out of that there and see what else we can do. Let's go back into this again and we'll use this lopsided one. So with this lopsided one, once again, we're going to put some pictures in there. We've got a number of different uh, layers on there. We've got four layers for each of the photographs. Let's tap on this one here and we'll put a photo in there. I'll just choose any old photo that I've got in there. Let's go to the next one and put a photograph in there again. Okay, so the thing is, is that we've got our photographs in there and that's ready to do what, with whatever we want to do with it. So let's uh, go to the share menu. We can send a copy out there. We can open another application. We can save it to iCloud Drive or we can send it off to a photo library. Whatever we want to do with it. Okay, so that's fairly easy. But what if we've put it in the photograph and it's the wrong place there or it's the wrong photograph? Now, you can't actually sort of um, do the same thing again with the plus symbols, you know, where we put the photographs in there first. We don't get a chance either to move the photograph around to position it just the way we want within that space. That's a bit of a nuisance. So uh, maybe we want to change one of these photographs. We either go back to the start again and pick a new uh, template and start fresh, or what we can do is something like this. So let's first of all do a bit of hiding of some of these things. So I'm going to hide that layer there. I'm going to hide this layer here as well and go to this next one. And I'm going to hide that one there and say that the uh, one that we want to change is this one at the bottom. If I get a photograph there and bring it in, let's say I'm going to bring in um, this one here with mushrooms. So I wanted these mushrooms in. It comes in, it fills the whole thing up, doesn't it? I'll move the layer down a little bit there. So we've got the layer there. So now the layers at the, at the bottom there of these uh, different layers. So let's bring it down a bit so I can position it now. All what I can do is I can. See, I can change the size of it as well. So this is ways of changing the size. 
So let's bring that down there. So got it. So it fills the space a bit better. And it fills in there. So that's that's sized up, ready to go there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this out of the way. Let's just bring it down to the bottom there, so it's uh, out of the way. And now what I'm going to do is back to this layer here, and we're going to make a selection. So we're going to go to our tools again, and in our tools we're going to click on select. Now select, I'm just going to take this here and select it. And the problem is, is that I've got a bit of a white in that uh, picture at the bottom there. If I go too far, it selects that white as well. If I go back to uh, 1%, okay, well, I've got that selected at 1%, I get just the uh, that bit at the top there, but I don't get any other photograph that's underneath. So that's perfect, that's just what I want. Okay, so we click on Done, so we've got that area selected now. Now I'm gonna do is gonna move this picture back up again, so it's in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the top part of that picture there. So let's go to our tools, go to paint and erase. We've got our eraser in there. We can change the size of the eraser if we want to. And that's how we change that there, the eraser strength. And we want it to be hard or normal or whatever else. And we've got the eraser set the way we want it. Going to erase that. And that's just uh, going to erase whatever's within the uh, selected area. So now I can do a deselect. Click on Done. And now what I can do is I can go to this one here, which is the uh, picture that we put in there that was incorrect. And I can just delete that. So let's just delete it. And now you can see I've got the picture in there that I want. It's the right shape and everything to fit in with the rest of it. And I can start putting these ones back in again. So let's just uh, show it again. Go to the next one and do Show. And go to the one at the top there and click on Show. So you can see that it is possible for you to arrange your pictures in there and change pictures if you need to, even when you're using these templates. In the next video that we're going to have a look at for Pixelmator for iPad, we're going to have a look at more of the uh, drawing end of things and let's see what we can do with that. So this is Dave Allen for No Stylus and we had our first look into Pixelmator for iPad. Bye bye now.